Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman from paperclipping.com, and we got Stacy Julian here. Noelle, it's so fun to talk to you always. I, I know, you too. Hi, Izzy behind the camera. This is Stacy, uh, the lady behind Big Picture yes, Classes. I am on the PRT quite often, and yes. so you may know my voice, and now you know how beautiful I am. Very, very beautiful. <laughs> okay, that's super dumb. Did I say <laughs> stuff like that? Wow. <laughs> oh, no, wow. but we were just talking about yes. this experience you had walking by Basic Gray. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us, because I thought it was cool. Okay, I will. So, and I, I think it just, it ties into the industry and how a lot of people feel like maybe the industry isn't doing well. I don't know. Anyway, okay, that, that was maybe the wrong introduction. I was walking through the Basic Gray group, Basic Gray booth, and I saw this canvas kind of art piece. And I immediately thought to myself, I don't do that. I don't do that. I threw up a blinder. Because when I have time, I want to create a story and make a scrapbook of some kind. And then I, I went around the corner and I met the, you know, Rachel Bentley is the creative director. And she said, I've got to show you something because I know you're going to love it. It has a big picture to it. And I was like, okay. And she came back around and showed it to me. And I thought, really? You know, what, what is it? And they had the beautiful sort of um, finished project with, with pattern paper. But then she pulled up this other one that, that she had sitting on the floor. And in all of the little spaces, it's basically, it looks like a quilt, but it's wrapped around canvas, OK? And all of the little squares, she had chunks of her of fabric that her grandmother left her, left her after her grandmother passed away. So in grandma's closet, she'd been a seamstress. Here's all these fabrics. And so Rachel took and made memory art. And she, you know what I mean? And so then I, as, as soon as I knew the story behind yeah. it, it had instant meaning. There was this big picture of, I wouldn't create something like that out of pattern paper, but if I could create it out of my dad's ties or, you know, grandma's fabric or the baby's clothes, yeah. then it has memory and then it becomes something that, that has a story and then it's all about, I want to do it. I know, I that's know. so awesome. So I think, mm -hmm. so we were just talking about how important it is to educate people and give them the meaning behind something so that, you know, it's worth your time. And to think about, too, as scrapbookers, thinking about the meaning of what you're doing and just, yeah. unlike you, I mean, that's a, just a very unusual way that I, I haven't seen yet to take scraps of something mm -hmm. that has meaning to you because it's associated with grandma mm -hmm. and doing something beautiful with it and just, you know, keeping that in mind. Mm -hmm. And I think so many scrapbookers start, and it is so fun to be creative and it's so fun to have beautiful stuff, but you really can't sustain that for very long. So pretty soon you have to decide why am I doing this and what is the meaning for me, and you have to spend some time with your pictures, like Noelle teaches. You have to go in and write the story so that you can keep that meaning, because it's the meaning and the memory and the story mm -hmm. that's going to sustain you, yeah. not the beautiful product as much as we love it. I mean, that's <laughs> just not going to do it. All so, right. Find the meaning. That's our, that's our sign off. That's the, I'm the sign off. I'm done talking, and it's really hard for me to stop. <laughs> so this is Stacy Julian. Yep. I'm Noelle Hyman. Yep. From paperclipping.com.